Chris Salah, AKA the gentleman farmer has created a Mexican inspired hot sauce that's made with a six pepper blend. And he's calling this one Madre de Fuego. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another review for The Gentleman Farmer. Now, I've been extremely impressed with uh, Chris Salah's products. Uh, he is making some fantastic SCOBY award winning uh, hot sauces, so I highly recommend them. So make sure you check out my other reviews that I've done for Chris and make sure to click on the link for his Indiegogo uh, campaign that he is starting to uh, help to raise more funds to expand his operation. Uh, click that uh, link. It is on the first page, his homepage on his website, gentlemanfarmer.co, so you can get more information on how you can support him. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into this one. I just love a good Mexican-inspired or Mexican-style hot sauce, and I've got a really good one for you guys today. This one is um, Madre de Fuego from Gentleman Farmer. Just look at that mother or that woman on fire. All right, Madre de Fuego, Mexican-inspired hot sauce. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this one. It says smoky Mexican blend with great spice. It's vegan, gluten-free, low calorie, and no preservatives. Ah, a put it on everything sauce. Now here's what it says on the bottle. It's, I'm gonna read it from the website. It says, research indi indicates that the first domesticated chili pepper originated in Mexico 6,000 years ago, giving birth to all modern day peppers. To that we say cheers, or rather salute, and share this Mexican inspired hot sauce with you. Enjoy. Now here's the ingredients on this one, guys. And one thing I love about this one, it is pretty simple, but it focuses on a six pepper blend and here's the ingredients we start off with that pepper blend of jalapeno wajillo pekin you don't see a lot of hot sauces with pekin they're very small pepper um, i think they're fairly expensive to use in a hot sauce they've got a nice fiery level of heat too then we've got habanero chipotle and the arbo chilies water onions distilled vinegar garlic salt spice and coconut oil so as you can see from them ingredient, those ingredients, he really focuses on that six pepper blend with the onions, garlic, vinegar, salt, and spices, and that coconut oil, which I really adds to this when we get into this one. Uh, sodium is not bad at all. It's only 60 milligrams, but look at this, guys. I just love this dark, rich, smoky color to this one. It's got a nice, fairly thick consistency. Just can't see it move around a whole lot, I guess, on camera, but there you go. But look at that dark, rich color. Six peppers. And those are some fantastic peppers. Once again, the jalapeno, the wajillo. I love the wajillo pepper. Pekin, habanero, chipotle, and arbo. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Now, that's exactly what I'm getting. When I first smelled this, I said, wow, this smells so peppery, so rich, so earthy, slightly smoky. It's not overpowered with the Chipotle. But it's just got a nice six pepper blend. I love that about it. Doesn't smell vinegary, but you can definitely smell the onions are coming through a little bit. The garlic's coming through. I don't know what type of spices that are listed in here. I would just guess possibly cumin. It de It is not coming across. Um, if it does have cumin in it, it's not coming across as way too strong, like a taco sauce or taco seasoning type of sauce in any way. But it's possible that it's in there. Maybe some chili powders in here, maybe some oregano's in here, but I'm just guessing. Those are really the top three I would say for a Mexican inspired hot sauce, and that's cumin, oregano, and um, chili powder, or possibly coriander, but I'm just guessing. But I love the coconut oil. That really comes through when you taste it, and you get the mouthfeel to it. But this really focuses on a earthy, nutty, raisin-like blend, uh, especially coming from the Wajillo and the, the Arbo chilies in here. Such an awesome aroma, real peppery, 
not too smoky, but just smells like just a Mexican inspired chili blend. Super, super awesome aroma. I love that. Okay, let's check it out here on a spoon. Madre de Fuego. Nice pour to it. I just got a little bit of bits and chunks in there, just a little bit. But here we go. Mm. Oh, wow. I love this. It's pretty spicy, too. Just a little bit. You know, if you swallow it the wrong way, it's definitely going to take your breath away. Wow. Awesome. Earthy, rich, smoky, slightly nutty coming from those those that blend of those six peppers the habanero heat is kicking in and coming to the forefront with its fiery heat also the pekin pepper as well probably the jalapenos the guajillo and the uh the the uh, chipotle peppers are just really doing their thing providing that nice earthy rich flavor also the arbos have got some fiery heat so i'd say the the habanero uh, then the pekin and then the arbo chilies as far as heat i'd put them in that level but the onions and garlic are coming through and then the nice uh, spices that are added to give it that mexican flair um, and then the coconut oil giving it a nice smooth mouth feel it doesn't taste oily it doesn't taste coconutty so if you're not a fan of coconut don't let that bother you at all this is fantastic a rich it really focuses on the rich earthy um, Mexican inspired flavor and aroma of that six pepper blend is the best way I can describe it. You're going to love this on your tacos. You're going to love this on your burritos. You're going to love this on eggs, on huevos, uh, huevos de rancheros, um, huevos rancheros, what I'm trying to say. Any Mexican food, uh, pizza, it would just be fantastic. This is super delicious. I'm really loving this one, Chris. Um, I would say on heat, uh, this is a solid four. It's almost approaching a five out of 10 on my one to 10 scale, almost to the medium level. Maybe if I, eat, if I keep eating it, eat a little bit more, it's gonna be I'm almost a low five because it gives you that nice all over burn that's coming from the habaneros, the pekin and the arbo chilies, but mostly probably from the habaneros that are in here. But here's what I did with this one, guys. I made, I make, I'd make, I do. I make the best soft breakfast tacos that you will ever taste. I had some sauteed chorizo and onions and roasted red mini potatoes on some uh, uh, warmed up uh, flour tortillas and had some uh, cheddar cheese on there. Topped it with uh, Gentleman Farmers Madre de Fuego and went to town. Yes, I ate both of those for breakfast. That was so, so delicious. Another winner, Chris. Uh, check this company out, guys. Give them a like on Facebook. The website is gentlemanfarmer.co. I highly recommend his sauces, guys. They are the real deal. And if you watch his videos on his Indiegogo campaign, or the link there, you'll see the meticulous process that Chris goes through in selecting his ingredients, in cutting his ingredients, and in cooking his ingredients. Um, it really shows how um, the process that he uses and the ingredients that he uses, um, that's why his hot sauces taste so darn good. So check that out. All right, uh, Chris, thank you so much for sending it. I do appreciate it. Guys, make sure you click on the Enjoy the Burn logo right there. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.